Um, uh, I had the, what they called a, a foot infection. It turned out to just be gout, but that was three days in the hospital. You showing it to us was really joyful. That was great. Yeah, you like that. That was a lot mm-hmm. of fun. Nice and swollen. Soft to the touch. By the way, it hurt so bad that I put weight on it one time here and passed out. Remember that? Oh, yeah, that was fun, too, right outside that door. That yeah, was good. I, I yeah. got up and I fainted because it hurt so bad. That was, that was good, yeah. It's good that you can do something to yourself, like gout, which is just from basically being a, a sloth pig, <laughs> and that that uh, by doing that, you that it hurts so bad that when you put weight on it, you pass out. Like something that is entirely like your fault, you know? The, you get like uh, like some things you can't control, but the, the gout. So you know what the, the secret to getting rid of the gout was? And this was from a listener. Was uh, you, you get some cherry juice, and then you dilute it with lots of water, and you keep that by your side, and you drink that the whole time. That'll get rid of that cool, right quick. So uh, while that was going on, I got some crazy ass. Uh, uh, sinus infection, and um, that turned into something in my throat. And uh, as you all complained, and thank you so much for your complaints, I uh, sounded like crap on the air. And then they, you know, it's smart Radzik, our program director, was smart. He's like, "Why don't you take some time off?" And and I did. And then I went to these doctors who are asking me for money. I went to these doctors who scoped it and were like, ah, it's no big deal. Like, you know, like whatever, just keep doing what you're doing. So, um, lo and behold, I had, uh, Cadillac, who's the programming, I had a programming here, had given me this guy's name and I'm like, how the hell am I going to get this guy? He was with, he's with Boston, uh, what is it? Mass General and, uh, uh, uh Zytel is his name. This is the doctor who has treated celeb- countless celebrities, Adele. right? Adele, Adele Steven Tyler. Adele, Steven Tyler, Roger Daltrey. Me and Roger Daltrey have a lot in common. Not just the perm. John Mayer, Dick Vitale, <laughs> who reached out, and I responded, hey, Dick, and everyone thought I was being mean. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so uh, so I go to, so I, I I'm, it's not getting better, so I, I, a listener reaches out. And he goes, hey, I work in the office of this guy. Uh, does I tell? I work in the office with this guy. And uh, I really think you should come in. This is something that you should you, you should come see this guy. He's the best. So I go in there. And uh, they uh, put the tube down your nose. And he starts poking around. And he's like, Jesus Christ. He's like, your throat is blown up. And what they found is there was this mass on my vocal cord that was um, uh, troubling to him and he believed it was cancerous. And But the swelling around it was so bad for me, you know, doing my hysterical impressions and talking to you every day that uh, he, he felt that uh, he goes like, don't talk for two weeks and then uh, get back to me. Now, not talking for two weeks is uh, an adventure in itself. I told you I went out, I've gone out one time mm-hmm. in the last, except for my kids' games. I've been, been driving them around. I've been out one time. I went to a place and like an idiot, like I brought like a piece of paper to like write like what I like what I wanted. Should have brought a whiteboard, which you, I, 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 just I, erase it. And... Well, I'd already invested uh, two hundred, one hundred and fifty dollars in these vaporizers. So that was so awesome. I had already been, I've, I was already in knee deep with the vaporizer people. Right. So I just brought this uh, yeah, a whiteboard, and so meanwhile I'm like writing this stuff, and uh, people are uh, throwing uh, like, and then these guys are throwing notes at me. And uh, they're they're having fun at my expense. Meanwhile, I'm uh, I'm, I'm very very sick. How dare they? They uh, mm-hmm. and uh, so anyway, he's like, you know, you gotta not smoke, obviously. Which was don't don't, don't smoke. It's not just don't do it. It's not worth it. It's not even fun. It, and, and if you think about it, except for like if you haven't smoked in a really long time and you get a buzz from it. If you're smoking a lot, it's no good. 
Like the the payoff is not there. There's no like you can see why people do heroin, I guess, because like it, it rules. <laughs> apparently, I've never done it. It's also a lot cheaper. <laughs> uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know the price of street drugs. <laughs> But, like, you know, people go, like, heroin's like kissing God. You know how, like, people go, heroin's like kissing God. Uh-huh. So I assume, like, if you do heroin, you're like, ah, well, that was, like, a lot of fun. But, like, smoking is just 90% of the time, it's, it's, it's uh, you're just doing it to do it. Mm-hmm. So don't smoke. And you've been, you've been smoking since how old? 11. Uh-huh. I took a couple years off. So almost 40 years. Well, I took uh, a couple years off, but I can tell you right now, I have not smoked in uh, 40 days. How does the app know that? How do you, how does your phone know how long it's been? I put the date, I, I quit uh, in. Oh, okay. And, and, then it, and then it keeps it. It tells, Got you, it. It tells you where you're at. Got it. For instance, uh, I'll tell you where I'm at. Uh, uh, my heart rate and blood pressure have dropped. The carbon monoxide level in my blood is back to normal. The circulation improves and your lung function function increases. And coughing and shortness of breath decrease. That's So six right weeks, no smoking. Six weeks, no smoking. Good for you. Thank you. It was not difficult because, you know, on the account of the cancer scare. And uh, so uh, I go back and um, he's like, all right things are a lot better like like you you did what i told you to do you didn't drink you didn't smoke you you didn't talk he was very proud of me and he said there's still a, a discoloration though like where there was once a lump now it's like a a white coloration so i'm sitting there and uh, uh and uh, my parents had come into town and like that was fine and then I'm sitting there and I'm like real, real, real scared, like, like really scared. And I don't know how I, in, 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 like, why my mind works in this way, but like, I uh, instead of focusing on like what I'm scared of, I, I, I start focusing on other crap, and um, I unfortunately. Uh, uh, tweeted something that at the time seemed like I was uh, seemed right in my mind, but now in retrospect, I uh, had called out the show for not being there, which is completely unfair. Because uh, I mean, I talked to John, I talked to uh, Rich, had had offered uh, to this, uh, uh, you know, his connections at Dana Farber. He had offered these things, and. Uh, in, in retrospect, it was a, a stupid thing to do. Um, you know, what are you going to do? I, uh, I I was sitting home scared of uh, all this happening. Not that that's an excuse, but there you go. And so uh, I uh, continue to do this. And then um, my father's like, why don't you uh, go to your therapist? Like, why are you not going to your therapist? And And now why would I not be going to my therapist? Because you can't speak? Yes. My father, who was following <laughs> well, me can, around. That's what you need the whiteboard for. You yeah. just write your feelings down. <laughs> so and my, your dad, who is acutely aware of your problem, yes, my father, is living in the same home, <laughs> understands that you cannot speak, and is now requesting that you go talk to somebody. Yeah, like my mom's name's Lindy. He'd be like, Lynn, stop asking him questions. Lynn, stop asking him questions. Fred, go talk to someone extensively. <laughs> yeah, and then he's For like, an hour. He's like, why are you not going to the therapist? This is a very bad time for you. Why are you not going to the therapist? <laughs> and so, because, uh, because, uh, and the worst thing is, it's in my throat. So I, uh, like, this is my livelihood. Like, this is my throat. Like, I don't know what's going on. Like, and even if it's, um, say, even if it wasn't cancer, like, you know, you have to do an operation and they don't know how that's going to turn out and how you're going to sound or if you're ever going to sound the same. It was a, a, a very difficult time. Um, but I was going to use the time to, uh, read, uh, like books and stuff. I'm like, I'm going to use this time to my advantage. Uh, I, I read 30 pages of a book over the course of three and a half weeks. Well, I got, I got through 30 pages. So you're like book. LeBron and the Godfather. Exactly. I was just like the wow. same page, opening it up over and over as, again. As a guy who reads rock biographies anyway, you yeah. couldn't even do that. 
No, I was. You couldn't but, find a rock by a drummer of some band we never heard of, and you know, put out on a Xerox I, I, machine. I, you couldn't figure I that out. I think the longer I got into my isolation, is like the more difficult it was. Like the the highlight of my day was at two o'clock. Seinfeld comes on Comedy Central, uh, so it was just like kind of killing time until Seinfeld came on. Mm -hmm. But then I had to like you know pick the kids up and run around and stuff like that. But that was like the big highlight of my thing. So. uh you know, I uh, uh, I, I got this, uh, uh, you know, this white thing, and da 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 da. And so I go, um, uh, a couple. What did I? What was? What day was it? Monday. Monday. So I've been out of work now for three and a half weeks. And John, as someone who missed a lot of work because you had a thing in your brain that uh made you you can't hear out of one ear mm -hmm. uh you know how the how easy it is to get the the disability it's it's still pending it's a lot of paperwork every a, a lot of paperwork that people you got to convince people to fill out mm -hmm. and they are under no obligation to fill out that yep. they it they are some doing they are it's not cool. in a rush to fill that out so like i'm not getting paid i'm not working i'm worrying about my my throat and i'm losing my mind and so uh finally I um get to the uh uh get to the uh uh doctor on uh uh Monday and uh, he looks at it and he goes all right it is something called leukoplasia which is what I believe they called young Lu uh Corey Haim in the movie Lucas. Mm -hmm. I think this was the the nickname they gave him. Every time you say it, I think Luca Brazzi sleeps with the fishes. Well, that's that's very cruel of you. This is a very big, bad condition that I have. And so I believe that it, and that's when Charlie, before Charlie Sheen came in and started dating <laughs> the redhead. I mean, you know, Lucas was trying his best. They let him go out for the football team. They couldn't even find a, a helmet that fit the kid. Carrie Green, girl of everybody's dreams. Was that her real name? <laughs> yes. What, what else was she Luke? in? She was in the Goonies as well, right? Yeah. Yes. I mean, that's, you know, there was a whole section of movies back then yeah. that everyone did. The was she Brolin's did. love affair in the Goonies? I've never seen the Goonies. Uh, you've never seen the Goonies? No. What? I've never seen the Goonies. How is that possible? This is right up there with Predator. How do you, how do you not see the Goonies? I, I have no desire to yeah. see the Goonies. She was, yeah, she was the, uh, she was like the, the hot one. Yeah, so it was like a will they, won't right. they? Throughout the film, I was No, I'm it wasn't imagining. even that. They were definitely, they definitely will. Oh, oh, yeah. okay. So you know from the beginning that oh, they're hot to trot. Yeah. The she was ever... in Summer Rental, too, with John Candy. She was, in she was the daughter in Summer Rental. Summer Rental oh, is, is man. the really? most depressing yeah. movie. Oh, I know who that is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That is. Oh, most... no, she wasn't the daughter. I was thinking of the love interest in Summer Rental for the son. That's someone different. That, no, no, no. That girl never appeared again, and she was something else. So I go back and uh, I go back on Monday, this last Monday, and he says it's uh, leukoplasia and that uh, go back to work, we'll monitor it, and uh, a couple things, three outcomes of this could happen. It is not cancer. And I made a mistake, apparently, because I said I'm cancer-free, and apparently that's like uh, stolen valor. Because because you didn't have cancer. Because I didn't have cancer. I just thought I had cancer. Right. So, so like, if I announce today that I'm cancer free, that's that's like a faux pas. Because yeah. Because I've a, never had cancer. Yeah. Like in the cancer community, right. like you, insulting you know. to those who have gone through it. Which was my intention, obviously, as uh, as I wanted to, <laughs> as I put the announcement up, I wanted to. But I mean, I thought I had it, but my faux pas. I I, I do apologize. And so um, there's uh, there's maybe. Uh, I talk and nothing ever happens again. Or he could do a procedure in his office. He doesn't take insurance. He could do a procedure in his office. Or I would have to have surgery, uh, which would keep me out of work for a few weeks. A few weeks after. But all told, a, a great relief. A, a feeling of relief overcame me on Monday. Mm -hmm. Good for you. Well, thank you. And so that is where we're at right now. Okay. So as we sit here, you're going to be doing shorter weeks. You're here today and tomorrow. Well, I had a scheduled vacation for Monday. 
because okay. I have a friend coming into town. Okay, but you, so you're off Monday. You're going to do four days next week. I'm going to do four days next week and see how that goes. And because uh, you got to take a vacation day for every day, like you don't you don't work, you know. Yes. Or or you choose not to get that's paid. usually it. That's how you know you take a day off. It's a vacation day. Yes. Even if you're sick, even well, if you can't perform your job, I. The rules are I'm a little bit different. The, the, the rules are a little different <laughs> with kidding. you, Fred. I, I think I think we all understand you've missed some time recently. I think the rules are a little different. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm out of sick days. <laughs> I can imagine. So the idea yeah. is not to take a vacation for the rest of the year, or leave, or mm-hmm. have to work every day for the rest of the year, mm-hmm. or uh, not get paid just, for or, the days or you not get paid for the days I miss. I, I can see that. Yes. Doesn't that sound a lot like I work at Subway? <laughs> like like doesn't that seem more like like the the way that things would work at like subway like if you if you have like a regular job do they do they uh do that to you it depends on how much time you've missed previously i, I have okay. a feeling all right because i couldn't do the work so i'm work I, i'm working with the the insurance company trying to get this thing get, get together mm-hmm. and it's pending i would like money that would help greatly. So there you go. So that is my story, Jonathan. Okay. That's well, what I've gone through. Good to see you. Good to have you back. And most importantly, glad that you are talking normally. Thank you. And not huffing air during breaks. That the the, the humidifier I'm just huffing is still socks. the humidifier, the Fred Toucher Memorial humidifier is still right behind you. Should you need it, up that is a the wall fifty-five there. dollar piece of equipment. I'm, all I'm saying gentlemen. is, if you need to put that up to your face like a gas mask, like you were doing the three or four days before you left the, the fun, idea, this last time, the idea that it's still in the room, knowing it's a fifty-five dollar value, yeah. is something else. So 